Welcome back to Alan Wake Part 31. And in this part, the power plant glowed in the night. The power plant glowed in the night. But I had to find a way across. Mm, that's right. We're we're back in. Uh, well, we were back in the uh, the main uh, city section of Bright Falls. Are we still there? We are very much on the outskirts now because we had to take a helicopter ride just to get over here. Okay. Probably went up river to the turbines and the electric generators that are keeping the power plant perpetually lit. Mm, a hard hat area. But I wonder why. I mean, it's not like the trees are going... Oh, God damn it, helmeted dudes. Uh, and he got taken out by the electric trap that was right behind him. Fool. <laughs> you are no match for mankind's electricity. But I am man. Surely I should have some native resistance to mankind's electricity. These are the forces that brought mankind from the darkness. Mm, but the darkness is a sentient force in this game. Very much so. Ow! Sentient. Not intelligent. You think I'm scared of skilled professionals? Fuck yourselves. I'm rich. I'm famous. You can't touch me. Ow. Um, okay, you can't Alan touch isn't me. Necessarily, uh, Alan isn't necessarily rich. He's famous, yes, but he's not necessarily rich. Uh, if you if you have a New York if you have a New York high rise apartment with your wife, you're probably pretty wealthy. Ow. Well, at least nobody's throwing projectiles at me. Yeah, like they would do in Resident Evil 4. Well, they did do very well in Resident Evil 4. <laughs> at least in that game, you have the option to actually shoot the projectiles out of the air. I don't even think you can do that in this game. And then now they... Now past Cloud. Dear past Cloud. Back up. Back up. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, oh God. Da, da, da. Yeah. Nicely done. All you gotta do is just back up. <laughs> Move stupidly slowly. Yeah, you, uh, you were going to you were going to ask about Resident Evil 4. Well, I was going to say that it was Resident Evil 4. It was Resident Evil 4's gameplay style that originally got me interested in Alan Wake Resident in the first place. Pipe alone. Cynthia was angry at the writer, foolish young man taking unnecessary risks, and the way he broke the rules. Didn't he understand what was at stake? Since the terrible days in the 70s, she hadn't wavered once, as hard as it had been. She was tired of protecting the town all these long years, and now only wanted to rest. So if we kill her, she will finally be able to sleep. Yes, we will place her at eternal rest. In a well-lit coffin. <laughs> Do we have to lay at the coffin? Yeah. Because keeping a coffin lit uh, perpetually is extremely expensive. It is. So so also is keeping a secret room in the power plant of your town perpetually lit. Also extremely costly and wasteful. <laughs> Although there are there are no zombie oh, taken as I'm a thermos. Ah, ah, that's a bloodborne thing. I thought that I could get it, but it was actually behind the fence. Ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha. You know, Doom does that a lot too, actually. <laughs> I am surrounded. This is very bad. Is it though? Because you're surrounded. You might be surrounded, but you're surrounded next to a bunch of electrical equipment. Well, the electrical equipment would have helped if the dude actually, like, backed up into it. Unfortunately, he did not do that. He was dying. Oh, bullets! Look at that. Shouldn't you be, uh, reloading while you have your, uh, flashlight on since the bigger guys take six rounds? I actually can't even see my ammo capacity right now. Ah, he missed by... It's at the top right. He missed by a lot. See, I actually can infer no, by he didn't. I can actually can infer by context what that achievement means. So I don't have to look up what it yes. actually is. <laughs> yes, uh, successfully dodged approximately 100 attacks. And then do the happy dance after successfully getting your 67th thermos.
Methinks that. So, I finally went out and got a, a copy, quote unquote, of uh, Watch Dogs 2. And I gotta Ooh. say, Marcus sucks. <laughs> like, like the game, uh, the game in general is actually is really good. Uh, specifically with its characters and world building, it does that. It does that really damn well. But the fact that uh, Marcus has no like uh, combat or stealth steroids that he that he can utilize makes the early game ridiculously difficult. So I stopped playing it. But good at it gets better. It does get better. Eventually, Marcus becomes, you know, a, uh, a superhuman hacker god. But hacker until god then, it's it's very it's very aggravating that I keep failing at uh, stealth segments that are only really half stealth segments. Fucking so. If, if, if that was the draw for the game when I started playing it is just stealth, well, I mean, that, that's Dishonored, but Dishonored is different. Um... Because at least that game gives you the option to either be stealthy or be violent. Now, is this a game where you like you you have to start over for, from a checkpoint if you get caught? No, not if you get caught, but if you die. And the the thing about dying in uh, Watch Dogs Two is that when you get when you get spotted by specifically the security forces that you're going up against, they start calling tens like tens of dudes at you. And I, although I have Although I have uh, dedicated offensive options in the form of handguns and a stun gun at this point, uh, it's very clear that you're not supposed to get caught. To which I have to ex exclaim, "How? If I if I spend enough time, if I just spend enough time next to uh, uh, employees at the plant, they actually they actually call over to security, and it's like, but." Uh, if that means I have to find a safe spot to, to do my hacking in, and there aren't any, because you know it's a power plant and there's act actively uh, active workers in the power plant. Trial and error. Uh, after try number five, I'm like, no, this is too goddamn frustrating. Why is the bridge moving? Because we we activated a switch in the office. The operator office. I also spent, well, while I was recording this, I actually lost track of which end of the bridge was the point where I was going and which end of the bridge was the point where I had come from. Uh, this is because you keep uh, sw uh, swiveling around trying to take down the birds. But the birds are everywhere, exactly! They're confusing me! <laughs> they want me to get lost? my own fears, and my own self-doubts. I can't concentrate So, uh, the, cro the crow shields are actually smaller than the, uh, are actually smaller than the normal enemies, so can't you just, you know, uh, fire random, uh, fire random and kill some of them? Yeah, yeah, you can totally do that. The, bir the birds, of course, are designed to flee as soon as you try shining a light on them, and the distance eventually negates the light energy. This is the wrong way, Cloud. Yes, it is, because that's the office over there. I, I really hope Although I... Although, that's the thermos that you missed. Alright, so there actually was a point in coming back here, at least. Thermos, 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 thermos. But, yeah, this is the way where I came from. And I should probably realize that probably about right... There's all this action, but there doesn't seem to be a fucking thing going on here. It's like, oh, 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 god, 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 god damn it. God damn it, I got lost. I got confused. Nope, past Cloud still is unsure. Yeah, he doesn't see he doesn't seem to understand what's going on. See what's happening is that I mean he wasn't over here earlier, so it makes sense why he's unsure, but still. Why am I b b b b b b blocked over here? This cannot be. And why is and why does the bus not have any markings on it? Oh, that bus looks like it was charred up. Get, you haven't crossed the bridge, Cloud. Try it. Try it again. <laughs> Your objective is to cross the bridge. <laughs> the game is actually rather good. Which is pretty simple if you just if you just you know sit on the bridge at at this endpoint. Yeah. That is, if you haven't already gone off. 
And then you have to wait for the fucking uh, end piece to reconnect. All right, now just now just stand here for about fucking two and a half hours, and you will get to the other side. It's not two and a half hours. It's like one minute. Or you could be like an idiot, try running to the other end of the bridge, like I can make it, I can make it, and then by the by the no, time no, you, you get can't. The, you, you are can't. not an Olympic sprinter. And then you don't make it, and then you think, oh shit, I gotta run back. So you run all the way back. It's like, damn it, I missed that one too. Uh, I gotta turn around now, and you run it, and just keep going because you're stupid. <laughs> that's a Three Stooges skit, isn't it? It's it probably a Three Stooges skit. That that sounds exactly like something that <laughs> that Larry and Moe would get fucked up on. That's another thermos. Oh, I can see my Ooh, my bridge operator sure do enjoy coffee. Oh, wait, I think I remember this one. That is not a philosophical concern. Perception is the mother of deception. Yes, it is. Let us not waste time making stupid comparisons between humans and butterflies. <laughs> An absence of creativity. <laughs> These fucking videos crack me up. <laughs> So, so just like in... So is this Aliens 1 or 2? <laughs> it. It is in the basement. We know not what it is. Oh, Martha. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, it's a wormhole. Hey, old scratch. Yeah. Here? Well, I'm trying to work. Did you put this thing here? In a way. To be more precise, I put everything here but that. Really? But what is it? Oh, I guess the temptation is to call it a hole, but it's really... A profound a lack of reality, he says. There is definitely no fucking thing here. I like how the I like how the bridge going by is making things shake as though it's happening dramatically in the video. Oh god. And that's what he's blocked on. Okay, a single plot hole does not sink an entire <laughs> enterprise. Have you seen Back to the Future? <laughs> there can be no plot holes. There can be no contradictions. No logical conundrums whatsoever. Things must happen in a way that makes sense. <laughs> yes, it is too moronic. God damn it, Night Springs! The show sucks. It does suck. It, it it has a very interesting premise in ripping off Twilight Zone, and then it doesn't actually fully execute on it. A lack of creativity, with the author being able to directly connect with his with his written work, is actually an astoundingly good premise. Hell, it's what Alan Wake is literally based on. That's what I was going. I was just about to say that this this is a. This is a story that draws attention to the creative process, and every story depends on some level of creativity. Therefore, it's... But Alan, yeah. but Alan has, been has been suffering from a uh, writer's block uh, with all the different jump cuts that he's been going through. It's like everything is so disjointed. Sometimes the plot hole is Ow. that he's not even sure how he got here in the first place. There is Robber Man, Lumberjack. Other lumberjack, the sheriff, all my favorite friends are here. They also and they keep trying to hit me with battle axes. That's all I notice is the pattern is that there have been a lot of big guys and there have been a lot of projectile throwers basically since I had arrived in this part of the game. Now I forget, did you 
did you explain about damage modeling in this game yet? I, I had I had explained damage modeling uh, quite a bit on these games. It, both this game and Alan Wake's American Nightmare use the same damage modeling formula. You can't you cannot inflict extra damage by hitting specific parts of their bodies, like the head or the heart or what have you. Unfortunately, you can only do the amount of damage you do corresponds directly to the weapon that you're using. Right. And the, the me and the story reason for that is that these creatures are not human. They don't. They probably don't even have functioning circulatory or central nervous system. They are just puppets of darkness. And in the next part, we will explore other themes related to pine trees and gunshots. <laughs> <laughs>